Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. Man, have we got a house full of dogs down here, Terry. How come that we have a house full of dogs? <laughs> I don't know. We always have a house full of dogs. But uh, they're terrific. They're they terrific. Need, and they need terrific homes. And we have a good bunch. We have a lot of different uh, breeds, personalities, sizes. So yes, absolutely. We've got a lot to show. It's a great pet store. We call it the best pet store in the county. So why don't you come down here and see what we've got? You should. And you should take a look at this one that's sitting on Terry's lap right now, too. This is a little sweetheart named Polly. This is the most adorable. Deborah, she just came out, as you all know, and she just got her little Adopt Me bandana on. And then she just climbed up on my lap. And here she is to tell the world she's ready to go. And just to kind of give you an idea of some of the services that Animal Services tries to do, besides just house dogs and keep them fed and a roof over their head, she has a little bit of an issue that uh, we are going to be taking care of. Why don't you tell them a little bit yes. about that? So Polly has what we call teeth that need to come out, some of them, so, and teeth that need cleaning the rest of them. So she needs a dental. And the R Fund, which is the fund that uh, does the medical things for the cats and the dogs here, is going to pay for this dental so that when Polly goes to her home, she will have that already done, and she will be spayed already, and she'll go home with a leash, and all of that for the adoption fee. That's right. Now, the R funds do sometimes get expended or get a little low. So you might want to consider, maybe you would consider a, uh, donating to our R fund. And that strictly goes to medical needs of shelter animals. Yes, everything that they need while they're at the shelter to keep them in good health and to make them adoptable. So you can send your checks to Animal Services. Right. 855 Oklahoma Avenue. Yes. 885. 885 Oklahoma Avenue. San Luis Obispo. And then and on the memo line, write our fund. Our fund. Yes. So we that would money appreciate will get there. it. Now, that would be great. adopting her, her ID number? Her ID number is 216 433, and this little doll is just about ready to leave this place and go home. Oh, I just love this dog. Look at those eyes. That is a smart dog. She's looking right at herself. She'll, she looks right at you. She would be a wonderful um, dog to train. I'm pretty sure she could learn to do anything. And she's very young. We don't even think she's a year old yet. Um, her name is Nellie, and her ID number is 216119. Very sweet and affectionate. A little shy at this point, but she's just going to blossom into a fabulous dog in a good home. Well, there's a face. This is Dobby. He's a young dog. Um, he's really wonderful. He has a little bit of deformity in, her, in his back legs. It doesn't stop him. He loves to play. He's, he loves to sit on a lap. This is just a wonderful, wonderful, sweet companion animal. And he doesn't let those legs bother him at all. He's going to go faster with that face. Absolutely. He's just so pretty. His ID number is 216444. This is Dobby. Well, this is the kind of situation that makes us sad down here. This was a family that loved their dog very much, but they lost their housing. And they could not find a place that would take her. And so here is Callie at six years old, um, stuck down at the, um, the animal shelter. Uh, she's crate trained. She loves to travel in the car. She has basic obedience. She knows tricks. She goes on walks. She runs. Um, what doesn't she do for she, Pete's They sake? have really wow. you know, nice things to say about this girl. And she was a family pet. And things happen in life, and they just could not keep her. So Callie kind of breaks my heart. She's awfully sweet, good with other dogs, especially large dogs. Her ID number is 161985. We need to find this girl a new good home to be a family member in. Hey, Nacho, check out my new jewelry. Where'd you get that? My person decided to put this cool tag on me. Now if I ever get lost, other people can help me get home. Gee, I better get one, too. Be responsible. Join the pack today and show your four-legged friend just how much you love them. This is Monty, one of our longest residing dogs. Um, he was part of a big confiscation, and when he got here, he was terrified of everybody and everything. And he is doing about 100,000 times better. That's, that's an absolute scientific calculation. Um, he has half of his adoption fee paid. He's good with most other dogs. He's pretty, he's mellow. He's easygoing. Although with a good playmate, he will romp around and just have an absolute ball. We have seen this dog blossom just incredibly since he's been here. 
So when you come to meet him, he'll be a little bit hesitant at first because he doesn't know you. But trust me, this is going to be somebody's wonderful, loving companion. Monty's ID number is 213-601. Again, half of his adoption fee is paid. We love this guy. We want to get him out of here. It's been here since September. That's too long. Look at the ears, people. Look at the ears. Those are some fantastic ears. They stand up. They fall forward. They have spots on them. That is like the best kind of ears right there. Those are prize-winning ears. We haven't had better ears in quite some time. Absolutely not. And on top of it, she has a fabulous personality. She's tons of fun. She's our playgirl down here. We test new dogs with her because she's a very good playmate. She'll take some rough housing. She'll also just kind of hang out and be mellow if that's what you want. She can be a little, you know, she's got energy. Um, she could use a little bit more training, but this is a sweetheart. And because of that, uh, we're going to make her our volunteer's pick of the month. Yay, Ruka! So that means half of her adoption fee is paid. That saves you about 50 bucks off of her adoption fee. And she is a bargain at any price. We love this girl. How old is she? Ruka is about four. That's about a four great age. Yeah, That's a yeah. great age. The puppy craziness is gone. Old age is a long way off. So she is perfect. Excellent. ID number 208708, Volunteers Pick of the Month, Ruka. Yay. Look at the ears, folks. Look at the ears. This is wonderful Doug. He's another dog that came to us from a big confiscation. So he's been here a long time since last August. And when he first got here, he was terrified and shut down. And we didn't know if he was going to be adoptable or not, but he is absolutely adoptable. Um, we've worked with him. The volunteers have worked with him on socialization. The staff has worked with him. A trainer's come in and worked with him. And he is so much better. And the other thing that's great about Doug is he is fabulous with other dogs absolutely fabulous with other dogs. He hangs out in the small dog yard. He has big dog playmates. I've never, not one time since he's been here in August, have I ever seen Doug not be good with another dog. So this could be somebody's great companion for their lonely dog. This could be somebody's great companion for themselves. Half of his adoption fee is paid. We want him out of here. And we are absolutely rooting for Doug like you wouldn't believe. His ID number is 213588. All of you out there who think, okay, I want to adopt a hard-to-adopt dog, and yet one that have, doesn't have a thousand issues, Doug's the one. He's got some small issues, but he is fantastic. 213588. This is Doug. He's had it tough up to now. He deserves to be on Easy Street for the rest of his life. Hey, mister, don't call the pound. I live just around the corner. Oh, man, this doesn't look good for me. If only I had some kind of ID. Uh-oh, Nacho is headed for the pound. With a visible ID, he'd be headed home. Let's all join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. Well, this is Old English Bulldog Tank. People pay a lot of money for these dogs. He's about seven years old, bless his heart, and, you know, had lost his home, and that's a bummer. So we just want to get him into a new home. Tank's ID number is 208018. This is an absolute attention hound. Um, this beautiful dog's name is Cody, and he's about six years old and just a beautiful dog. Look at those eyes. He is fantastic looking. Um, his ID number is 216403, so if you want a good pal... Come down and take a look at Cody. He's going to be someone's very good friend. This sweet dog's name is Angel, and she needs to not go to a farm. She's not good with chickens and livestock, but she just needs to go to a nice home with dogs are fine. People who will love her are fine. She looks older than she is. She's only about five, but she's got that gray muzzle. I like that premature gray business going on. Very sweet girl. Angel's ID number is 213360. She would be somebody's wonderful friend. Unless you're a Okay, San Luis Obispo County, here's one of those dogs that needs just a really great home. Zoe is nine years old, and she lost her home because of a housing issue. Um, she really doesn't like other dogs, and she's deaf. She is, however, very active for nine years old. She's very sweet with people, and man, does she love to chase a tennis ball. She, you can throw this. She doesn't pay attention to anything else as long as you're throwing a, a tennis ball for her, but, and she's also very affectionate with people. And half of her adoption fee has been paid. So this is one of those adoptions where you can be a hero. If you just want one companion to love you, then Zoe might be the dog for you. 
ID number 158036. This is Zoe. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, this is a sweetheart. This is Izzy. She is truly a sweetheart. She's, she's six years old. Um, her owners had to give her up. They'd owned her her whole life. Uh, just they didn't have the time for her anymore. She knows basic obedience. She loves to go on walks. She's good with other dogs. This is a wonderful family dog right here. Um, Izzy's ID number is 929993. Just a sweetheart. Wait, what's that? No, it's Nacho. I told him to get a pet ID tag. <sighs> I hope he's okay. Our pets depend on us for their safety. Join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. This is Ryder. This poor guy is just about a year old. We don't think he had a very good life for that first year. He's not. He wasn't well socialized when he came in. People scare him. Um, he's hand shy as if he's been hit. So we're just really working with him to let him know that people are trustworthy and, you know, that the world's okay. And he's decided he really likes people with cookies in their hands. So that's a positive. That's one of those things dogs need to learn that, you know, Deborah, treats we're going to pay miracles. half his adoption fee. So half of his adoption fee is paid. That saves you over $50, which is terrific. He ha he's good with uh, other dogs. He has a, uh, several doggy friends down here. And he just needs to get into a good home where people will love him and make him feel safe. His ID number is 215-648. This is Ryder. This beautiful girl is named Diamond, and she is, she's beautiful. Um, she's just, she's house trained, crate trained, very sweet and loving. Um, she's kind of alpha. She, she has a lot of dog play friends down here. She especially likes male dogs. But um, she is a lot on the alpha side. So, but if you have a playful male at home that needs a playmate, she'd probably be a good choice. Her ID number is 215831. This is very, very pretty diamond. Oh, this sweet girl. Look at this sweet girl. This is Georgie. She's probably nine. She's just an old, sweet, quiet, old girl that needs a, a nice retirement home. She gets the senior rebate, so that means $35 of her adoption fee will be paid or rebated to you. Um, just a nice, nice, sweet old dog. I hate it when the old ones, older ones end up in here. It drives me crazy. Her ID number is 216414. Please give a sweet old girl a home for the rest of her life. That would be a nice thing to do. <laughs> this is Julian. Um, he's about eight years old, and he does not act like it. Julian has the energy of a very young dog. He's a really good jumper. You gotta, you gotta watch it that you don't kind of get hit in the, the face by his jumping up. He's sweet as he can be. At eight years old, he gets the senior rebate, so that saves you a little bit on his adoption fee. Um, he needs exercise. I mean, I know he's eight years old, but he does need exercise to keep him <laughs> wound down. He's sweet, affectionate, a wonderful older guy. We love him. 215727. This is Julian, the extremely young eight year old dog. Nacho, you're okay. Whoa, that was a close call. I could have lost my life at the pound. Well, now you have a tag. Not only a tag, but a microchip, too. Can't take any chances. No one expects their pets to get out, but they do. An ID is a lifesaver. If you love them, tag them. This dog is beautiful. She's got some shepherd in there. She's got some cat those beautiful catahoula spots on her. She's and really she pretty. She is one to get you noticed. Her name is um, Cammy, and she's just gorgeous. Easy on the leash. She seems to be house trained. She knows sit. Beautiful eyes. Just an all around beautiful dog. A little bit shy. We go a little slow with her at first until she knows us, and then she's just fine. Her ID number is 216330. This beautiful girl's name is Cammy. This is Annie. She's, she's still a puppy, basically. She's not a year old yet. She definitely has puppy energy. She's very bouncy and crazy and rowdy, and, but adorable and sweet and loving and very smart, responsive to training. Um, really smart girl. Annie's ID number is 216141. So for those of you that like puppy ages without being totally tiny puppy, Annie's the one. Let's see. I told you. 
this is Rhodey. And when you approach his kennel, especially if you're a man, he's going to bark at you. But once he knows you, he's fine. He's very affectionate. He particularly loves women, but he also likes men when he knows them. Um, he's just sort of a nice dog that's young, about three years old, and has, needs to get into a nice new home. His ID number is 216485. It's really pretty. Well, I wanted to name him Tiny, but I got voted down. So this is Thor. Um, so if, if you like them big, we have this one that's very big. This is a four-year-old male Mastiff. And, um, you know, he's pretty gentle. He's pretty fairly easy to walk on a leash. He's big. I don't know what else to say about him. He's really, really he's big. He's stunning. He will get you noticed. You might be able to ride him. He's very beautiful. There is no way you are not going to get and he actually has a head bigger than Greer's and we've been <laughs> looking for a dog that could that we could say that about for a long time number 216185 the massive headed beautiful gorgeous Thor this is a happy girl um, we have her at about nine years old but she does not act like a nine-year-old dog at all she is she looks like Ryder who you saw earlier who also happens to be her best friend uh, Maggie is a sweetheart who also has the senior rebate so that's $35 off of her adoption very affectionate dog ID number 162556 we are looking for a special loving home for this little girl um, part of her adoption fee will be paid her name is Kiki she's only about nine but she has a heart condition so sometimes she breathes. Maybe you can hear that. She breathes a little hard sometimes. She just needs basically a loving place to live out her life. Someone who doesn't expect a dog to go on long walks or anything like that. Just wants her to hang around the house and watch TV with them. She would be perfect. She's as sweet as she can be. Her ID number is 216-399. This is Kiki looking for that special person to spend the rest of her life with. Okay, we shouldn't laugh, but we've been laughing because this dog is wearing a perimeter co a collar that apparently did not keep it within the perimeter. He's really cute. Um, darling Jack Russell or Jack Russell mix. It was picked up on the 25th of February in Paso Robles by Flamson Junior High School. So somebody should be missing this little doll baby. We think he's about seven and he just seems like a really nice dog. Really sweet and good with other dogs and easy going. His ID number is 216506, and if somebody doesn't come to redeem him soon, he will be ready for adoption. And let's talk about putting IDs on all your pets. This perimeter collar didn't work, but if he had a collar on with his uh, phone number, we could get him right back to his owner. So you out there, if you don't have IDs on your animals, please, please, please get them on now. Please do. Your neighbors will bring them home. The, the animal control officers will try to bring them home before they bring them here if they just have an address or a phone number that can be contacted. It's really easy. And this, <laughs> this Jack Russell is kind of ticked off that he didn't have that. Again, ID number 216506. He's not really ticked off. <laughs> okay, so remember out there, before we tell you about Bitsy, who's a very charming dog here, remember to um, think about donating to the ARF fund. That's A-R-F, as in ARF, here at the shelter, where we uh, collect money so that we can do uh, medical things for the dogs when they're down here, anybody that needs a tumor removed or eye surgery or something like that, that all comes out of the ARF funds and that's all donations. So please come on down, think about donating and think about Bitsy. Isn't she cute? She was picked up on the 22nd of uh, February in Cayucas and um, she was really scared when she came in but she's doing a whole lot better and she's just really cute. That is a wonderful little face on that dog. Her ID number is 216-450. We're going to call her Bitsy.
We're starting out the cats with Stacy. Stacy is, as you can see, a beautiful black tabby cat. She is just about five years old, and her ID number is 2166460. She is a classic tabby, if you see that bullseye, we call it, on her side there. And classic tabbies are quite unusual. And Stacy is one of those. She is a great girl, ID number 216460. Stacy. Well, we opened up Max's cage, and he kind of blew out of it, so we have to show you him behind bars. He's really, really anxious to get out here and get out to the Max to live his life. He's just one year old. He's a very um, beautifully marked cat. You really have to see it. I have not seen a cat marked like this before. He's got some orange, and there he is showing a little bit of his stripes and splotches and yeah he's really incredible just a year old our max id number 216471 he really really wants out so how about getting him out of here max 216471 say hi to sean he is a tabby on white sean's just about a year old he's very fearful in here not a nice place to be for a cat small spaces and not a good situation. Sean's ID, 216494. So here I am out with one of my good friends. This is where we go walking our dogs. We get to sit on some park benches now and again. It was a great opportunity for you guys to come out. We need volunteers. We'd really like some more dog walkers. We're at a point now where we just don't have enough people walking the dogs, and these dogs have to stay in their kennel day in and day out, 24 by 7. These dogs really need to get out, have a little exercise, feel the grass. You can sit with them out here, socialize them. It makes them ever so much more adoptable. So if you've got any time whatsoever, we could use you down here. Bring a friend. Two of you walk dogs together. We have dogs that get along with other dogs that you can go out with together. It's a fabulous opportunity for both you and the dog. We'd love to see you down here. It's easy to be a volunteer. We're a great bunch of people. I guarantee it. You can have a lot of fun and help the dogs. Think about it. I know there are orange tabby lovers out there. You like that big orange tabby like I do. You want to consider Peanut. Even though he's not a Peanut, he's a big boy. He's about a year old. His ID number is 216456. Look at how he looks like the Lion King, doesn't he? Simba. But his name is Peanut. ID number 216456. Here's another unusually look looking cat. He starts out to be kind of a light grayish and then he goes much darker in his hindquarters and then he's got that raccoon striped tail. Such a good looking guy. He's about a year and a half old or named, we're calling him Pepe. ID number 216473 and he's got those gorgeous green eyes. Consider Pepe 216473. Hi, Jamie and Patrick. Look at these two. They are adorable. If you want two cats that get along together, these two will appeal to you for sure. We have Patty, ID number 216480 in the back. She is female. And we have Jamie, 216481 in the front, a male. They came to the shelter together, so they're really good friends. Lots of times people want two cats that go together. And these two will really do the job for you. Jamie and Patrick, ID number 216480. Jamie, ID number 216481. Oh no! Bonsai Cat is attacking the village! Mighty Bonsai Cat is stalking before the final kill. We'll never get out of here alive if he sees us! We'll never escape in time. Ah! Medic! Medic! Is this the end of civilization? Mighty Bonsai Cat waits no more! Ah, with one flick of the tail, it's all over! Colonel, where's that airstrike order? That... Mm, the bombers are useless Ow. against Bonsai Cat! Think of cat. all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Here are two other cutie pie orange and white boys. People are crazy for these and they have such good temper. 
mints, and you know they get all the parts in the movies. You think about that. Every movie cat is an orange tabby. Let's see about Ted and Billy here. Ted is one year old, ID number 216491, and Billy, ID number 216492. Both just about a year old, and as you can see, they get along quite well together. So consider them by themselves or together. Ted, 126491. Billy, 126492. Now here's a real pretty girl. This is a dilute calico. She has a little bit of tabby marking, but mostly dilute calico. She's just about six years old. We're calling her Jasmine. She's sweet as she can be. ID number 216479, Jasmine. Hi, Patches. Here we have Patches, a tabby on white, just about five years old. ID number 216370, Patches. Here's a big, beautiful boy. <coughs> this is James. James is about four years old. He has a great temperament, and his ID number is 216475, James. This is Cookie, just about six months old. As you can see, yet another tabby. We seem to have a run on tabbies this go-round. ID number 216454, Cookie. Hi, Heidi. She's a pretty girl. She's a great tabby on white. Very muted tabby markings. She's just about four years old, and her ID number is 216443. That's Heidi. Say hi to Dom. Dom is just about five years old. He is ID number 216446, Dom.